Edo State Governor Godwin Obaseki has shared his government's achievements in the state basic education system as well as the entire education ecosystem over the past six years. Reforms to transform Edo's education sector and tackle learning poverty in the state took center stage at the African Heads of State Human Capital Summit. Edo is the only subnational invited as a state to the African Heads of State Summit and continues to stand out as a subnational that is demonstrating strong political will and action to accelerate investments in learning and human capital development. The summit in Tanzania's port city of Dar es Salaam between July 25 to 26 had in attendance over 1,200 delegates, including African leaders, policymakers, and older development stakeholders from over 30 African countries. Obaseki, who is a panelist at the summit, shared insight on how the government's bold and strong institutional reforms have translated to improve learning outcomes, identifying ongoing efforts to accelerate and sustain the gains recorded in the state education ecosystem. You'll all agree with me that the last session we had was quite illuminating. I took two things out of that last session. Uh, the point made by the former president of the Africa Development Bank, that first, we've talked enough, it's time to act. So it's how do we move from the strategies to action? And two, whatever we're doing in terms of developing human capital, uh, capital we have to think about scale because we have a lot of people on the continent. In the case of Edo State, which I'll share with you in about five minutes, um, Edo State is one of 36 states in Nigeria um, and has had a tradition of learning and education. But unfortunately, we ran into some crisis, not as bad as the Somalian experience. But at some point in 2016, we had over 30,000 young men and women who had crossed the Sahara as far as Libya trying to cross into Europe, anywhere else but home. They did not want to go to school. And so we had to take very drastic action. And that was when I took over office as governor in 2016. So we did four things. First, we decided to build political consensus around the issues of education because when we looked at the root causes of this mass migration and then, you know it was education the school systems had broken down kids didn't want to go to school anymore 